rage on the streets of Belgrade as anti-government protesters call for new elections. A crowd of thousands of people tried to storm the city hall building, but they were pushed back by riot police. People pushed the door very hard. Suddenly, the door caved in, and at the same moment, a large formation of police showed up with shields and anti-riot equipment. The center-left opposition alliance Serbia Against Violence has refused to accept last week's parliamentary and local elections, which international observers say were marred by vote-buying, ballot stuffing, and the improper influence of President Aleksandar Vucic. The results mean his governing Serbian Progressive Party holds a parliamentary majority. The president has condemned the attempted violent takeover. For days we warned of this, alerting international parties. Many were refusing to acknowledge what was being planned. Our intelligence services responded, knowing exactly what the troublemakers were plotting. We won't let them destabilize our country. Activists accuse police of using excessive force. Dozens of people have been arrested. Serbia is grappling with a year of political unrest, sparked by demonstrations against mass shootings, which evolve into protests against rising inflation and allegations of government corruption. Axel Zajmovic, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.